In this example, we're going to look at a unpaired t-test. So we have these two groups of schools. We have 25 observations from each group. And for group one, we're going to make the assumption that they used organic foods in their cafeteria. And then group two used conventionally harvested and grown foods. And so our hypothesis for this, our null hypothesis, is going to be that the that there is no difference in per pupil expenditures when organic foods versus conventionally farmed foods are used. So again, the null hypothesis, no difference in total child nutrition per pupil expenditures. And the alternative hypothesis is that there is a difference. So we're going to look at a two-tailed test. We don't maybe come into this knowing whether or not which one may be more expensive or, or cheaper. But again, our basic null hypothesis is that there's no difference in the total child nutrition per pupil expenditure. So this is the total amount that is spent per child through a school year in the child nutrition department. So to analyze this data, we're going to go to the data ribbon, go to the data analysis tool. We're going to use a two sample t-test assuming unequal variances. Our variable one range is column A. Our variable two range is column B. We do have labels, so we need to make sure we check that. We can use an alpha of 0.05 corresponding to 95%. And we'll just put the output on this page on the same worksheet. So I'm going to give us a little more room here in the, in the columns. So we see we have a mean per pupil expenditure for group one of $557.00. Eight cents, and for group two, five hundred thirty-six dollars and ninety-six cents. We can also see the variance. We had twenty-five observations in each group. That's twenty-five individual schools that were included in each of these groups, and we're looking at the two-tailed test. So our p-value here greater than 0.05, so we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So that means that given the data, given the information that we have, we don't see a statistically significant difference in the total child nutrition per pupil expenditures between schools that used organic foods in the cafeteria versus those who used conventionally farmed foods.